Well, the raccoons are getting, I was just preparing the, their meal and they're coming earlier and earlier. I'm cooking right now. Oops. I, I was going to do a video showing how I prepare their meals, but I noticed that the mom is, she came up to the back door. She left when she saw that there was no food. Poor honey. So I'll give her some dog food to hold her over. There you are. Hi. I'm gonna. What? Well, you're just gonna take my whole cup. You're hungry, honey. Oh. I hear they're. Wow. Okay. Oh, well, this is new. I've never. You guys are. You guys are making me. Oh, oh, you're the baby. I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. You're... Ah! What are you doing? You're scaring me. <laughs> That's an adult. Oh, it is. Okay. I get it. It's the three babies. That is such a coward. I just don't know their temperament yet. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I they so far, they are up to 50 pounds of dog food a month, 40 pounds of rice, and I don't know. Um, they go through, how many eggs do I? I buy one of these, um, so 60 eggs a month. And I make them, um, then I mix it with me. I buy sausage. And let me turn this off, because I'm gonna go ahead and start feeding them now. Let me turn this down. Go ahead and give them this. Oh, I can't carry it, hold on. And this rice, milk. yeah, there you go. Yeah, you're okay. So they have officially gotten used to me. That's last night. I wasn't sure she was coming because I was calling. And tonight, as you saw, she definitely came. The baby makes me nervous when they get near my feet because I don't know if they're going to mistake it for food. Huh? She's looking up at me and she's like, What the hell is this woman doing? Yeah, you're okay. They're so hungry. Gosh. Yeah, look at you. I went ahead and put on my shoes, so just the baby decided to nap. So they do like bananas. I wasn't too sure. I wasn't sure if it was them or if it was the uh, baby um, possum that was eating them. But definitely love bananas. Yeah. You guys are so hungry. Wow, oh, they're acting like they're starved to death. I hear something else in the woods. Maybe it's the other. <laughs> you guys are just way too cute. I hear something. So I'm going to go inside and I'm going to go ahead and prepare. Um. I'm gonna go ahead and prepare their eggs. I have a feeling, excuse my house, I'm preparing for surgery next week, so I'm trying to rearrange stuff um, so I can set my bed downstairs to recuperate. But I'm gonna go ahead and start frying up their sausage and their eggs. Okay, so this is common sense. I mixed um, egg and after I cooked the sausage, I mixed I mixed in eggs and basically made a sausage omelette. So something has scared the raccoons, which doesn't surprise me because they are paranoid. And obviously they're not scared of me as we just saw. 
So I don't think I can scoop this into there while holding the phone. So hold on. So the rice is warm. The eggs are freshly hot, but they sh it's winter time, so they should cool off here pretty soon. I don't want to give them anything that's too hot right away because the babies, as you see, they get really excited and I don't want them to burn their little paws or or their mouths. So I kind of like to wait until it's, you know, something like you would feed a toddler or something. I don't know, it may not be necessary, but it's just a precaution I like to take. Okay, I can't carry this in my phone, so I will take this out into the yard. Okay, so just now, as I was stepping out the porch, the mama raccoon, she was starting to approach the back porch, and then she just took off running, so... I guess she's emotionally unstable. I don't get it. Because you just saw she totally came up onto the porch when I was out there. But I guess when maybe when they get really, really hungry, they become really, really brave. Come on but I don't hear them, I don't see them. I know they're not full. They didn't eat that much. One of those set of eyes are still over here. But the babies, sometimes climb up these, my trees when they get scared. I don't know. That was an interesting um, development tonight. I That was the closest they've ever gotten to me. The more ner I, I'm nervous around all animals, so it's not just them. Especially when they come at me really fast, I don't know what they're going to do, so I just like to be a little cautious. <clears throat> don't want them to mistake my toes for a snack or something. But... I'm probably just gonna leave their food here so they can come up on their own to the house. Um, just so they're not as nervous. I, I don't know what's going on. So I'll pause this for a few seconds and I'll wait and see if they come up. So 10 minutes has passed or so and I was about to give up and go back to my house when Dun, dun, dun. Remember I said they, oh, there's a baby too. I said that they sometimes climb the tree by my house. Well, here they are. So, with the food I put down here. What are you guys doing? Are all three of you, all four of you guys are up there. What are you doing, honey? What are you doing? Look at you. Even when you're scared, you're just too cute. Come on, aren't you hungry? Where's the third baby at? Where's your third baby? Uh, where's your third baby? You smell that sausage, huh? And they give me some. Come on, let's go eat. Come on. What is she doing? Uh, smelling for verification. Wow. Yeah, it's down there. There you go. Come on. There you are. Okay, let's go. Well, you guys are just going to run off into the woods? Boy, I can smell the sausage and eggs all the way over here. No wonder she's smelling. Come on. Gosh, I just don't get them. Come on, let's eat. Come on. Oh, it's all the strange sound, cars and stuff like that. Look at her, she's standing there like a statue. And baby's 
took off under the underbrush. Come on, you guys, it's okay. Come on. There you are. I also have wild turkey and there's deer on this field. Oh. Neighbors. Oh. Well. She's honking at her own dogs in the yard. God. That's so inconsiderate. It's like, what, 9 o'clock at night? She's a bitch in a way. Come on, you're okay. Yeah, so she's watching the neighbors. They let their dogs run loose. Instead of, for some reason, putting them in the backyard to let them go to the bathroom, they just open up the front door and they're um, pretty big dogs. Oh, and there's the babies up in the tree over here. Come on, you guys. You're okay. It's gonna take them a while to come down. What? I hear something. So the third baby, was all the way up in the top of the tree where the other ones were and she's just now coming down. There you are, honey. Oh, that's not, yeah, that's, well, that one's getting fat. You're okay. Like, I got some place to be. Come on. They're getting so big. Okay, so that's the whole crew sniffing the trail of where his siblings went to or his mama so I can climb up the tree there you guys are come on yeah he's climbing the tree to be with his that's so cute and so they are becoming independent from their mom come on let's go eat come on Come on. Okay, they're finally coming out of their tree now. Yeah, you're okay. Yeah, you're okay. Yeah, you're okay. Yeah, you're okay. Oops. You're, you're the curious one. I'm curious, are you wanting to bite me or are you wanting to play? You're just so curious. You're so curious. I think that's what they're trying to do is smell me. Yeah, you're okay. You okay? Oh, <clears throat> I can tell this is one that usually does come up to me. Like, his face looks different. He's still scared for his mama. They're going to get some good protein for the winter. The rice, I usually, um, when I cook it in my um, rice cooker, I add some bouillon cubes. I do um, chicken or I do beef. I've noticed that they prefer the beef. Um, they love fish, anything seafood. And then if I have ramen noodles for lunch, I save the excess juice, and then when I make the rice and it's done cooking, I pour the remainder of the juice over the rice and let it just soak in. 
and then I just prepare them there their plate they don't seem too big on rice but um, the possum loves it the little baby possum that comes around but he's he'll never get used to me he's a real scaredy cat yeah but this young one looks identical to the mom so I'm wondering if this is a little female too. But the other babies are making their way over. There you are. I think I need it. They're starting to get so big. Look how big they're getting. Yeah, look how big you guys are getting. You're getting really big. Yeah, you're getting big. I think I'm going to have to start splitting up their food into two different containers. Come on. Aww. Oh. Whoa. Boy, she saw something, didn't she? My cats are inside. The hell did she see? And one, the baby's crawling up. She's looking over this way. Whenever I look over there, see how the street light is over there? I always think of Michael Myers. I do hear something rustling in the leaves over there, but I don't know, maybe it's a possum. But I've seen them eat together. They're, oops, I missed up and scared the other baby. I'm gonna go inside. Poor things. Well, if you've been watching, thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. I'll keep doing these videos. Thanks again for watching.